Rarely do we look at a calendar and think about the Earth's orbit. We think about seasons maybe, and we notice the seasons outside, but this way it shows the connection between the two. The orbit being divided into the days of the year and the months, just like our calendar. And then there's a string that goes from each day in the orbit and each string goes down to the relative day in the calendar. So you can get a graphic image of what the calendar is keeping track of, which is the or Earth's orbit around the sun one year. It involves pure science, but it uses an artistic format to get you interested in viewing it. So you see something interesting to look at and then you dissect it visually and see the science and the factual information that's in it. January is the Earth in space, you know, one twelfth of the Earth's orbit in space. So that's an effort to stand back a little bit farther from the planet, just like any situation in life. When you stand back from it, you get a bigger perspective on it. That way, when you go in closer again, you add that bigger perspective and add the context to your sort of local picture, your daily picture. The orbit calendar shows one year of days. We figured out 365 and a quarter days. So the piece in the other room represents one day on the Earth. Even though it's a prototype right now, we're using still photographs, the idea would be of having live webcams uh, spread around the planet so that when you stood in the middle, you would see half day around you and half night. Seeing as how it will be live, the sunrise and sunset line will gradually rotate around you. So that starts to show you the rotation of the Earth. If all of the webcams get archived over the course of a year, let's say, you could go back and time lapse one year so that you could see the seasons coming and going from the northern to southern hemisphere. As the equinoxes came, they would balance out. As fall came to one hemisphere, spring would be coming to another. You'd see snow land in the winter as southern hemisphere was in summer and vice versa. You would stand in the middle and see not only days go by, weeks, and each month, but you would see the seasons come and go. So not only would you see the earth live and the turning earth, but you would see the living earth. Like the orbit calendar, sort of step back a distance so that when you do come closer just living locally, you're keeping in mind the global perspective.